What's up guys, GameServerTools.com here. Today I'm going to show you how you set up a StarMate server on Linux. First you want to add a user. A StarMate. Enter in a password for this user. Skip all this. It's not really needed as only you will be using this. Once a new user is uh, created, you want to open up your SSH client. In this case, I use Kitty. Type in the IP address of your server. Connect to it. Login using the new username, StarMade. And then enter in your new password. And then you want to log in using FTP. And the new information you just made, the new username star made, and the password you put in, and again port 22. And here we want to create a new directory. There's two ways of doing this. Once you're connected with SFTP, you can right click, create a directory, and made a new one here. Or you can use the, um, the MK dir command. But we just made it the easy way right here. Once the directory is created, you want to go to their build site, scroll down and copy the latest build name, put it up to here, type it in, just test if it's working, and if it is, you want to copy this, go into your directory using cd store made, then use the wget command and type in the rar or zip file in this case and it should begin downloading once the file is complete downloading you want to go to your FTP client find the zip file and then rename it to starmate.zip as it's going to make it a lot easier to unzip it then you want to go into your starmate folder using cd starmate check if the file is there and it is use the unzip starmate.zip this is going to unzip it for us here. Let's just uh, check if it's complete and it is. Then you want to go ahead and use um, the updater command on it using java dot uh, hyphen jar and then use star made dot jar and then no GUI. This is gonna update all our files for us here. <coughs> then when you want to actually run the server you want to make this sh file executable using sh no ch mod ug plus x and then do star made uh, hyphen dedicated hyphen server hyphen linux dot sh what this has done is that we can execute our server right here um, so it's not going to complain over permissions and stuff like that then what we want to do is run the apt get install screen command what this is going to do is install screen for us so that we can make a a server that runs in a in the background and the terminal is not needed. So once the you want you gotta be root to install this by the way, as you may have seen before. Then you want to start a new screen using screen capitalize R and then put in a name. This is now made a screen called star. Then you wanna go ahead and use the dot forward slash oh sorry about that forward slash star made dedicated server linux dot sh this is in downloading and creating the files needed for the server to run you don't want to open up your game using the launcher refresh click if uh, and check if there's any new versions you want to start up the game and then you want to type in the IP address of your server here using the port 4242. Click OK. It's going to log in, connect to a server. Start up game here. 
we're going to click spawn and we are now on our new Linux server and since this is ran on a, uh, a VPS this is going to be online 24-7 um, so yeah we can go check uh, out the server here and you can see that I joined and that I'm playing and if you want to close the server you can use uh, control C and that's gonna shut down the server saving the world etc if you just want to leave the screen you want to hold control A D and now we're detached from the screen as you can see you can then safely log out without the server closing down if we did not use screen the server would close down and all your work would be lost so yeah gamesearch.com here thanks for watching